Yeah, weekend forecast now. Shafali is here. We've been a bit spoilt this week, haven't we, really, Chef? What about the weekend? Oh, well, as you head into British summertime, I'm afraid, Mary, things are getting a lot colder. But I have to say that spring has never seemed more tantalising. Uh, whether you've been looking at it through a window, a walk or from a park bench. And that's probably because we can't do the sorts of things that we used to do. Uh, but uh, I have to say that since Tuesday, um, it was warm then. Temperatures up to about 18 Celsius at Pershaw and Worcestershire. We've seen a drop of five degrees today, highs of just 13 Celsius. And by the weekend, those values are going to be halved. But in the wind chill, it's going to feel more like freezing. So it really is becoming a lot colder, cloudier, windier. And uh, there could be the odd wintry shower, yes, wintry shower over the hilltops only, however. But there's lots of dry weather on offer, so you can still get out and about and have a walk. Uh, but this is what's going to be ringing in the changes. It's this cold front that's going to be slipping southwards, and behind it, the winds are turning to northerlies, and that's going to bring in that colder air. But high pressure is still firmly in control, so as I say, things are looking largely dry. But through tonight, well, we'll see those skies clear and uh, we'll see a bit of moisture as a result of that front slipping southwards. It's going to take tonight and tomorrow to do so, but it'll draw in that moisture. And with that, we'll see some mist patches and fog patches into the morning tomorrow, but only a patchy frost because temperatures, generally speaking, are going to remain just above freezing or just below freezing in rural spots more particularly. And you can see from those wind speeds, the winds are going to increase slightly, but more particularly into tomorrow. In fact, we could see gusts of around 40 miles per hour by Saturday. Uh, and a bit of sunshine to start off with, but very quickly that north to northeasterly is going to drag in that cloud. So it's going to be much cloudier by the afternoon. And we'll see a few of those showers also being drawn in by that northeasterly by the afternoon. Some of those could be on the heavy side, but they're few and far between. And as I say, there could be a little bit of wintriness over the hilltops and then as we ha head into Saturday night that cloud clears again it's going to be a clear one and uh, we'll see those temperatures again remaining just above freezing where we get that patchy cloud but for Sunday perhaps a bit of brightness but again a lot of cloud and windy too with wind speeds of around 45 miles per hour okay